and the International Monetary Fund has said Nigeria will likely depend on overdrafts from the CBN to fund its proposed 2.55 trillion naira petrol subsidy bill. This is following the federal government's plan to extend the fuel subsidy regime by 18 months. The IMF said this in its Nigeria Selected Issues paper report. The report was prepared by a staff team of the fund as background documentation for its periodic consultation with Nigeria. According to the report, fuel subsidies negatively affect the country's fiscal position, increasing fiscal deficits. Now joining us now via Zoom is Dr. Muda Yusuf, the former Director General of Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Glad to have you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so now we have a 2.55 trillion naira petrol subsidy bill, and IMF is warning against fresh borrowing. What are your recommendations at this crossroad? Well, it's a very difficult choice that we are faced with uh, because 2.55 trillion is a lot of money. By the time you add that to the original budget figure, we are, we are getting close to the 20 trillion uh, Naira budget. And how are we going to fund it? As of November last year, actual revenue that we got under the 2021 budget was just about, was less than 6 trillion. Now we are faced with a budget of almost 20 trillion. Projected revenue is 10 trillion. What is the guarantee that we even get that 10 trillion? The deficit in the budget is 6.8 trillion. So that means the deficit will be going to close to 10 trillion. So it's going to create a whole lot of macroeconomic challenges. It's going to worsen the exchange rate depreciation. It's going to worsen inflation. And it's going to worsen the state of poverty of the citizens. The impacts of this macroeconomic effect will be worse than the, 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 the removal of, of, of fuel subsidy. That is it. Already a lot of people are complaining of high prices. And the worst enemy of the poor is inflation. It's not even fuel subsidy. So it's a very challenging situation. The options you have, one, is for government to see how it can cut down its, its expenditure drastically. The second option is to see how we can accelerate domestic refining. Already in the original budget figure, there's a provision of a subsidy up, up, up to June or July, which was about 400 billion. If by mid-year we are able to get the refineries up and running, whether the NMPC refineries or the Dangote refinery, that may be that may be a way out. Or we pray that there's a crash in oil price. Because as an oil producing country, we are no longer benefiting the, from, from high oil price. If anything, high oil price is penalizing us. Okay. Even more than some non oil producing countries. Okay, so. While many other oil producing countries are celebrating, we are suffering more. Because subsidy is increasing, the cost of diesel has gone up, the cost of aviation fuel has gone up, kerosene cost has gone up. So costs are, are increasing. So it's a very, very difficult situation. Okay, I so agree with the fears expressed by IMF. If you continue this way, we, 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 we are getting close to almost bankruptcy. Okay, so Dr. Yusuf, how do we now manage our fiscal deficits in this situation? Well, the fiscal position, what, what can we do? We have to just see how we can, because the National Assembly has been pushing for more revenue, has been pushing... Uh, the MDA to go and look for more revenue. Where is the additional revenue going to come from? They are coming to the private sector. What capacity does the private sector have to give them more revenue? Unless they want to kill all the investors. You know? So we have to just look at our expenditure profile. Let's scale it down as much as possible. Let's see what we can do about local refining. And let's also pray that oil price comes down. If it comes down, all this pressure will also come down. Okay, I think hopefully. those are the only options you have. Okay, hopefully it comes down. Thank you very much, Dr. Yusuf, for joining us on the news updates. 
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.